Congratulations on your purchase of a basic rear disc brake service, including rotors here at Louie & John's Complete Auto Service. Allow me to show you what that includes. So your certified master technician will remove the tire, which resides right here, and below it reside the brakes. The brakes include a rear hydraulic brake caliper, a brake caliper bracket, pads, and the rear disc brake rotor. Now, what the certified master technician will do is remove your caliper and reuse it. Pull off the pins or the bolts, pull the caliper off to the side, and we'll hang it. And the reason why I say that is because it's important because there's a hydraulic brake hose that resides on the caliper. We do not want it to get stretched out and potentially break. From that point, your certified master technician will remove the brake pads, which reside right here, look like this. Below the brake pads reside stainless steel shims that they actually glide on. Those will be replaced as well. Those come in a kit with four. There's an upper one and a lower one on this side and another set on the other side, so a total of four. From that point, the bracket will come off and a rear disc brake rotor will be replaced and a brand new one looks like this. So this rotor is fairly recent and new, but this is what the identical brand new one out of the box for this vehicle looks like. Brand new and shiny out of the box. From that point, everything will be refastened back together uh, with a brand new set of rear disc brake pads. And our set of rear disc brake pads comes as a set of four. There's a outboard pad and an inboard pad on this side and the same thing on that side. Everything will be fastened back together and that's what's comprised of a rear basic disc brake service including rotors here at Louie and John's Complete Auto Service. Okay, so here are some of the things that could trip up your certified master technician as they're doing their basic rear disc brake service with or without rotors on your modern vehicle. So your caliper guide pad bracket here has pins in the back right here as I'm pointing with my finger. These are supposed to move in and out like this with the boot actually following along, this boot right here. But over time, what happens in Michigan, pins get stuck because of moisture, dirt, and debris in our atmosphere. This pin on this car right here is physically stuck. I can't move it. So your certified master technician will take the bracket off the vehicle, put it onto our bench vise, take a physical torch, and heat the, the top and the bottom surfaces of this caliper guide bracket and start working these pins loose. And over time the pins come out and they look like this. So the pin itself will be cleaned up, will be honed to a nice shiny surface, we'll apply brand new lubricant on. If the, cal if the pin boot itself is bad, we'll replace the pin boot as well, and then we'll reinstall everything. So this takes approximately 40 minutes in addition to do the top and bottom on this side and the top and bottom on the other side to make sure that these pins are physically nice and smooth for the action of your brakes to give you the best brake feel. Okay, so here are some other things that can go actually awry when your master certified technician is actually repairing your front disc brakes on your vehicle. So these are what are called the hydraulic brake calipers. And if you notice, there are two pistons. They are literally pushed back in by the power of your service technician and they need to go back in in order to accommodate the new width of the brand new brake pads going into these brackets right here. And continuing on with the same vehicle, for example, what happens is this hydraulic brake caliper, the pistons are actually stuck. So no matter with how much force we apply to push them back into their bore, they get stuck out, which means that your vehicle will also need hydraulic brake calipers. So these are the, some of the contingencies that we see here at Louis & John's Complete Auto Service. This one is a hydraulic brake caliper malfunction that is needed on top of the pads and the rotors, which we'll get you an estimate on as well.